Musama Mukwaya, who actually happens to be a screenwriter, director, and producer. My journey as a filmmaker um, starts 2007 when I just like gotten uh, done with my A level because at that time I was actually um, planning to join um, campus for IT. But then I wasn't contented. I didn't feel like it was my thing. I still felt like there was a part of me that, that wasn't complete. So within that time when I was going to my career for my diploma, I, um, I used to go to art events, particularly film and theatre. And then the, this, that's when I, like, I started joining uh, workshops and watching more local, local, local films, local talents. And then within the system, I learned about my chef Omar. That's 2011 now. My inspiration to do film comes, hails way back from when I was still um, in the teen age. I've always loved storytelling. Um, I've always loved reading. But because I've grown up in an environment where it's, uh, like, um, it's, it's a very theological environment, very strict and religious, I wasn't able to you know, exploit my talent and my ability to, story, to tell stories until um, a couple of years back. That's, uh, that, that, that's when I saw that my, uh, my talent can be put to life. That's when I started to do film, like, really. Are you going to stop staring at me or what? Well, it's just that you don't look hot at all. You just don't get it. I, I worked on a short film called She Likes Prada. Uh, that was the beginning of my career. Then 2012, I went to Mariam Degas Film and Performing Arts Center. I did another short film called Hello. That one, I was actually a writer and assistant director. And then 2015, that's when I had my first feature out as a producer and screenwriter. That's Bala Bala Sisi. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Since then, things have changed. Um, I'm writing and writing, and recently, 2016, I released my first short, which, which just premiered uh, recently, last week actually, at uh, South Africa in the Durban International Film Festival. So even when I don't make money, at least I know that I'm raising the flag of my country, and much as we may be seen as mediocre as, as far as performance is concerned. Drop it. Drop it. The only thing that I feel is still um, hindering us, one, finances, two, um, partners and stakeholders. We need, it's a collaborative effort. It's not just us filmmakers to do the film and put it out there. We need, we need the audience, we need the media, the media houses, we need um, executive producers, people who are like funders. We need, we need grants, locally even, not, even not, not just international, because most of the times when you, when, you, when you look at these things, people think you can only get them outside. But we have people who, who are really like capable of providing these things, but probably they're not aware Two, that they've not trusted us enough to, to you know, to, to, to invest in us. Or, and three, the audience itself, like, they haven't given us enough attention. There's no, we're going to grow if you don't, if you don't push us, if you don't support us, if you don't see how good we perform and you compliment us or how bad we perform and you tell us you can do this better, blah, blah, that kind of thing. So we need the audience. The future is bright, and I think we, we, we're going to do better. We just need uh, to put a few factors uh, in two place, and we're good to go. Jose, you should be the best candidate. In fact, he's the witness that I didn't kill uncle on purpose. It was an accident. My advice to uh, creatives out there, in particular film, uh, there are actually three, three, three items on, on my list. Uh, one is 
to be true to our stories and where we come from. That this is really a very key element. Authenticity and originality is important. We have a lot of things that define who we are from where we come from. And whether you like it or not, you need to have an identity. And as local filmmakers, you need to have an identity. So you need to stick to it. That's how you're gonna sell yourself. That's how you're gonna sell where you come from.